This morning's call is about being a change master, and I know that uh, everybody here has heard it said in the car business, one thing that's always con constant is change, and it's important to adjust. If you look at uh, what's going on in any business, really, even relationships, personal relationships, it's, things are going to change. You're going to, uh, in this business, going to have times of up, down, what is your advertising, what are your concepts. And I find one of the challenges that I face as being a consultant is that really we have to initiate change in the dealership. Sometimes that's intimidating. But when you look at what processes and procedures you have, being intimidated, yep, that's a natural feeling. But what I'm asking you to do is consider embracing it. Don't be intimidated by change. Understand that no matter what you're doing in life, there, it's going to involve change. And really, if you want improved results in life, if you want re improved results in your company, there's going to there's going to be some changes needed. One I'll I'll talk about is the walk around process. We have a walk around process with customer intake that looks the vehicle over for damage, looks the vehicle over for a maintenance things that it might be needed on that car. And when you're looking for, if you do a good job, you save a ton of time for technicians. Look at a, if you make note of a wiper blade and sell that at the service drive, get that approved. It saves time. The technician doesn't have to stop what they're doing, get price and availability, track the advisor down, track then the customer down, and let 15 minutes of unproductive time go by to try and do the right thing and sell wiper blades. So the customer intake process is critical for a lot of reasons. Customer care, one of them. Bring them to the attention for the authorization difference. And if the customer sees they have a need, more often they buy it. If they don't see what, that, what their need is, then the, your, your chance of selling it drops dramatically. So in, in this, don't be intimidated by change. The other thing is, don't make excuses. A lot of times we'll go in and, and we'll have excuses. Oh, Bill's been here for so many years. And he's always done it the old school way, and there's no way to teach him that it's going to work. Or this technician won't buy into it, or that technician won't buy into it. Maybe the uh, service manager won't buy into it. And then so what do they do? They don't make any changes. They just rock in the same way and get in the same poor result and looking at it thinking, this is just the way it's got to be. They are intimidated by the change, and then they make excuses why they don't have to change. Instead, I'm going to challenge you all to become a change master. Change master is someone that understands there's always going to be a new, improved, better way to do things. We've adjusted our walk-around process to include the customer even before they get out of the vehicle. When they drive in, before they get out of the vehicle, include them in. Hey, could you help me check your uh, lights? Those types of actions are going to happen. And you need to be a part of it. And the change master understands and is always looking for ways to improve. Then, the second thing, when, when you, if, there's definitely going to be a lot of ways to improve in any operation. And first, you have to plan for that. Ask yourself, what is your desired result? What is the action that's required? Is it reasonable? I feel it best to include the team in these discussions. So it's not as much of a, a direct action from 
up above that comes down and dictates what's going to happen. Include them. Take their advice and input, but don't let them intimidate you to believe that that change is impossible. The other part of it, don't feel, don't fear failure. In my view, the only failure is not to make the attempt. It's not to try. That's when you fail in life. You look at everything such as smoking, weight. These are goals, good, strong health goals. You want to quit smoking? Then if you're planning to fare, if you say, I'm not going to tell anybody because I've tried to quit smoking four other times, failed every time, so I'm not going to tell anyone about it, your likelihood is far less. I love the Weight Watcher example myself because Weight Watchers, never been a never been a member of Weight Watchers, but what they do is they get together once a week and they hop on the scale in front of their peers. Now, I promise you that that result is sometimes going to be more. Sometimes they're going to gain weight in that week, right? Sometimes they'll get on the scale and feel a tremendous sense of pride. But the question is, as they go through the week, don't you believe that they that they're looking at something very nice to eat or a large dinner and saying, nah, I'm not going to do that. I've got to get on the scale Monday. You see, instead of planning to fail, go all in on your new goals. Go all in on your new process. Commit and refuse to compromise. Those are the ways to maximize the result. If you know you have to make so many technician hours through the shop to bust out, hit your goal, and you don't track it, what's the chance of you achieving it? Believe me when I say, it's far less. Include the team in the goal. Let the team know what the goals are. What's your daily goal? You want to hit a good week? Break it down into what's your goal for today. Are you managing productivity, efficiency? Are you looking at ways you're losing time? It might be scheduling. might be dispatch. might be route sheets. I'm still stunned sometimes by larger size shops that don't have route sheets. Well, how do you know if you don't have route sheets? What if you don't put promise times on? There's all kinds of ways to improve. And now this time of year, a lot of, a lot of people are going into New Year's resolutions. They're, it's just a standard practice, right? These are my New Year's resolutions. These are what I'm going to change. It could be a weight goal. Might be a company goal. Might be both. If you don't include accountability and put yourself out there and say what your goals are to close business associates, family, and friends, your chance of success is far less. But, you know, when, I, when it comes down to getting a result, no matter what that result is, could be weight, could be anything, could be quitting smoking, to refuse to compromise, put yourself out there, make yourself accountable, develop a daily activity of what's needed to achieve that goal. And then step out with the confidence that I will make this my goal. Be every goal that you set, every New Year's resolution that you set, 
start it with I will instead of I'll try instead of I might. How about this for an excuse? If I have time, I will do walk-arounds. But there's a lot of times I don't have the time, so I'll do it when I have time. I promise you, within weeks, there won't be any walk-arounds. You don't get anything done with a when I have time. You don't get anything accomplished with anything less than the commitment to actually say, I will perform a walk-around process. Every time, every car, without compromise, without excuse. Now, will I have to adjust? Will I have to consider scheduling? Will I have to consider promise times, staffing, training, all of that? Yes. You will. But the ultimate desire for a change master is to understand. You review it. You analyze it. You determine the need. You determine the way that you're going to get there. And then you set out to achieve it. And you always put yourself out there with accountability to others. All right, well, we'll open that up for questions or comments. If you do have a question or comment, you, all you do is have to press 1, and that will make the hand raised, and Mike will see that and acknowledge you. So any questions or comments, press 1 at this time. Okay, no questions. Thank you. Have a great day, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks.